Shalom. Kahala Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Bashim Kakodash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who taught me this truth. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect. This is Baka Yaramana. Um, I woke up this morning and uh, there was no power. It was a really bad thunderstorm last night, but there was no power. And uh, when I woke up this morning, and so, um, you know, we were waiting until the power came on. Uh, they're saying that uh, there's a, a citywide power outage in your area, right? Um, on the, uh, what do you call it, uh, the Wi-Fi. I, I chose AT&T, unfortunately. And um, they said it's a power outage. Evergy. Um, the name of the um, energy company or electricity company in my area said that there is a, a, a power outage in your area. We're working to resolve the problem quickly, all this blah, blah, blah. Okay. Can you imagine six months of this? Can you imagine nine months of this? No power. No running water. No electricity. Right. The only thing that works, if it works, okay, is your phone. And then that's temporary until they resume power. <laughs> I was just telling myself um, that uh, that's the plan of these devils. If you don't have the protective hedge of Yahweh Shah Hamashiach, if you don't have it, you're doomed to take the radio frequency identification microprocessor, the micro C hip that to be implanted or embedded subcutaneously underneath your skin, in your wrist, your right hand, left hand, okay, underneath your hairline, it doesn't matter. You could even opt for the Neuralink brain chip. Okay, didn't matter. Either way, either one, if you accept this, you've accepted Esau Edom, the so-called white man, the Caucasian, master of the Caucasian race, okay, to be your God, as opposed to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, who created you in the womb. You have to understand, the Most High Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai stated that his ways are above your ways his understanding is above your understanding right his thoughts are above your thoughts he said also that as far as the heavens and the stars in the heavens above are above the surface of the earth are his thoughts above your thoughts and his ways above your ways okay Esau Edom changed the true nature of the anger and indignation that the Most High has towards his people for not keeping his law, statutes, and commandments to something more appealing to human nature. God loves everybody. No, he doesn't. You people don't, you don't understand. The Most High God, you know, he chooses, picks and chooses by hand who he wants to save, who he cares about, who he loves. Like it tells you, in Isaiah 14 and 1, I will have mercy upon Jacob and will yet choose Israel. Okay? And the strangers, which are the scattered of the dispersed due to the curses of Deuteronomy 28, that scattering to all these different nations of our people, okay, applies to the strangers those that are scattered, that look like the nations. Like it says in Jeremiah 12 and 9, my inheritance is as unto me as as a speckled bird. Okay, the people, the only people getting out of here are the Israelites. Okay, that's it. You're not leaving. You, you think God's going to rapture you with that evangelical Christian bullshit? The true nature of God's words and the biblical scriptures and biblical prophecies concerning the salvation of the Israelites, 
the children of Israel, a people near unto the Most High. Okay, by visage. Praise the Lord. Are the only people getting out of here. That's it. You people, it seems you, that you've forgotten at the Christian church, Catholic universalist ideology and all this other bullshit. You've forgotten that the Most High only chooses a few. Out of millions of people during the flood, he chose a family of eight people. Out of five cities hustling and bustling with millions of people, he only chose Lot and his family. Okay? <laughs> he only chose to give the blessing and the covenant that he that he promised to his friend Abraham out of all the men on the fucking first face of the earth. Abraham's son, the son of promise, he chose Isaac instead of Ishmael. Ishmael was born first. The Most High God chooses who he wants. He chose Abel instead of Cain, and Cain was born first because his sacrifice was righteous and Cain was not. Okay? What What is so goddamn difficult about accepting the fact that the Most High God hates? Malachi chapter 1, well, let's go to Romans chapter 9, verse 13. As it is written, Jacob have I loved, Esau have I hated. Okay? Saith the Lord. What the hell? What, is, what does it say that? Okay, it is written in Malachi chapter 1, verse 3. Yet I've loved Jacob, and I've hated Esau, and I've laid his mountains and his heritage waste for the dragons of the wilderness. Esau's mountains are his governments, no matter where he sets up government, the fatness of the earth, the dew of heaven from above, and to live by the sword. So he had his military complex. Okay. <laughs> okay. See, I was just talking about that the power outage, right? Okay. But like I said before, you, you people have to understand, man. Okay. The mountains of Esau Edom are his governments. His heritage are his seed, his children after him. Okay? You people don't get it. And so what we try to do is we try to explain to you the difference between the Most High and what, what he loves and what he hates. Because he loves and he hates. Okay? There's no respecter of persons with the Most High. He didn't respect you. Okay? You do what he tells you or you or prepare to be destroyed. Like he tells you in Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 13, let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear God and keep his commandments. For this is the whole duty of man. When was the last time you kept any of his commandments? You don't. <laughs> Because the white man says, the law is done away with. You can do what you want to do. Do as you please. See? That's the whole of the law of satanic power on earth. But getting back to the radio frequency identification microprocessor, imagine no power for three to six months. No running water. No police. You can't even call the cops. <laughs> Okay, how are you going to call the cops? Impossible. Okay, because they ain't coming. 911 is going to be offline. They're going to be protecting their own families during this time. A power outage. No running water. Okay? Real shit. It's going to happen suddenly. you probably be at work and the power just goes out. Can't figure it out. Well, they're going to resolve the problem. Blah, blah, blah. After two or three hours sitting around doing nothing, sitting in the dark at your job, they're going to tell you to go home. When you get home, there's no power. What the fuck? There's no power. Oh, no. What about my meat? Oh, no. Break out the generators. You're going to have emergency vehicles 
go through your area on a, a giant microphone with a bullhorn telling you what the circumstances are because there's no telecommunications. From street to street to street, you're going to hear it all over the place. Okay? If there was a tornado warning, there's no electricity to give you a siren. Okay? <laughs> you know, there's no running water. There's uh, Your food is defrosting in your refrigerator. All these things. All these things are going to happen. Okay? Very, very soon. We can't give you an exact date so you can prepare for it. You should have prepared before. Before you had a chance. Buy a generator. Do something. Okay? To prepare ahead of time. But you, you're not listening. You don't believe it. Okay? So, like I said before, they're going to open up these FEMA camps during such time of civil unrest, national emergency. Okay? Because if you don't have one of those little battery-operated radios, you ain't going to be able to find out what the fuck's going on across the country. Okay? Because if this power is out across the country, it's going to be uh, nationwide chaos, civil unrest uh, of, a, of a level that has been here for to never heard of in America. Virgin daughter of Babylon will no longer be a virgin. Criminals are going to be let out of the prisons. Those electronic doors that keep them shut in, there's no power. Door just opens right up. Gates just open right up. With a little force, they walk right out of prison. You're going to have men that have been in prison for 20, 30 years. They haven't seen a woman in 20, 30 years. They see you walking down the street. You're a victim of rape, gang rape. They're going to gang rape you to death. <laughs> okay, They ain't felt you in so long. Oh, man, you suffered you to come apart. Okay? It's just going to be constant. Men, women, children, raped. Okay? The food, souring. No food nowhere. Cannibalism is going to come back in a really big way. There's no power. They've already estimated that it'll take nine months for between 350 and and 420 million people here in America to rip themselves apart and destroy their entire infrastructure. Nine lousy months. It's not even a fucking year. And all they got to do is shut the power off for six months. Okay. This is the plan. They're going to fly over your towns and cities and drop leaflets since there's no power. There's no telecommunications. They can't get in touch with you. They'll just drop off uh, leaflets in, in the land telling you exactly where to go, where you can sign up to get your microchip, micro C-hip, mm -hmm. the subcutaneous uh, implant embedded underneath your skin for they can keep track of you. And millions of people that say that they're not going to take the mark of the beast, you're going to be first in line. You're going to be the first motherfuckers there in line, man, to take it. Okay, real talk. Now, the elect of the Most High Yahweh and the, and the elect of Yahweh Shai, these individuals are going to have the protective hedge around them. Okay. These individuals are going to have that protective hedge. Okay. Where was we at? That was Joel, right? We can start there. We can start there, right? Right, Joel chapter 3, or chapter 2, verse 3, 32. And it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be delivered. For in the Mount Zion and in Jerusalem shall be deliverance. See, so it tells you specific individuals and where and who Mount Zion and in Jerusalem shall be deliverance, not the city of Jerusalem. The city of Jerusalem is a people before it's a place. Second Maccabees chapter five, verse 19. Okay. It's a people before it's a place, man. Remember the most high God, Yahweh Bashi, Yahweh Shai chooses people 
The entire Old Testament is about individuals that he chose to be prophets, to preach the gospel to his people that had been scattered as captives and slaves living among the heathen nations. I mean, it's like, what the hell? You, you, Mount Zion, okay, that's the memorial of Israel. Israel used to be numbered as the sands of the sea. The Israelites used to know who they were. Okay. They used to know who they were. But they don't know who they are anymore. Okay. Like it tells you in Jeremiah chapter 17 verse 4. My people. As a matter of fact. Let's get it. Jeremiah 17 verse 4. And thou even thyself shalt discontinue from thine heritage that I gave thee, and I will cause thee to serve thine enemies in the land which thou knowest not, for ye have kindled them fire in mine anger, which shall burn forever. Right? And concerning the radio frequency identification microprocessor, the MOTB, thus saith the Lord, Cursed be the man that trusteth in man, and maketh flesh his arm, and whose heart departeth from the Lord. Right? For he shall be like the heath in the desert, and shall not see when good cometh. You're not going to be able to see. You can, as a matter of fact, right now, you don't see when good comes to you. You have men standing on street corners risking their lives and their freedom to tell you the truth of the Holy Bible. That the Israelites, who consist of Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, need to come out of America. Come out of the way of America. Cut that long dreadlock hair or bullshit off. Okay? Grow a beard. Stand up and be a man. Okay? But see... By drinking so much bottled water, you know, that has estrogen in it anymore, you know, these have they these Edomites have um, successfully emasculated the so-called black man here in America. They've made most of them effeminate, and then it didn't help by compounding uh, matters much by taking the man out of the house and making the woman the man and the woman. And having them raised by a woman. These devils did that shit on purpose to our people. They did it on purpose, man. Okay. But, Jeremiah 17 and 7, Blessed is the man that trusteth in the Lord, and whose hope the Lord is. Right? For he shall be as a tree planted by the waters, and that spreadeth out her roots by the river, and shall not see when he cometh. But her leaf shall be green, and shall not and shall not be careful in the year of drought, neither shall cease from yielding fruit. But he saw Edom as a devil, right? He's going to put you in circumstances and situations where you have to depend on this devil, right? Because you're going to want and desire a semblance of normalcy. The heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Who can know it? Right? I, the Lord, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Sai, search the heart. I try the reins, even to give every man according to his ways and according to the fruit of his doings. Right? So, you're going to be punished. Right? From following the dictates of your heart. Okay? That trusteth in man and maketh flesh his arm. Okay? If you trust man, if you trust Esau, Edom, when they drop these fle leaflets telling you where to go to get your, your chip, okay, you're going to be destroyed by the Son of God when he gets here. Now, you just saw a picture at the beginning of the video of what the Son of God looks like. See, you've been lied to for a long, long, long time. We all have by these devils. Like it says in Psalms 58 and 3, the wicked are estranged from the womb. They go astray as soon as they be born, speaking lies. Okay? Their poison is like the poison of a serpent. And those are the these lies that they're talking about. This is the poison. They are like the deaf adder that stoppeth her ear. They don't want to hear the truth. Which will not hearken to the voice of charmers, charming never so wisely. And the voice of the charmers are the men who are risking their freedom in their lives 
making these video epistles and standing on street corners telling you the truth to your face. You can't get the truth in the church. They're not there to tell you the truth. They're there to tell you about prosperity. God loves everybody. He's going to do this and do that. No, he doesn't. Because his thoughts are above your thoughts and his ways are above your ways. Okay? You don't know the Lord like you think. Okay? You want to get to know the Lord? Read the Bible and keep everything in context. Okay? Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read like it tells you in Isaiah chapter 34 verse 16. Like it tells you also again in 2 Timothy uh, verse 15 uh, chapter 2 verse 15. Study to show thyself approved unto the Most High, a workman that need not be ashamed, rightly dividing the words of truth. Right? Isaiah 34 and 16. Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read, No one of these shall fail, which are the biblical prophecies located within the biblical scriptures concerning who is who. Where you'll be able to discern the difference between the righteous and the wicked to discern between him that serveth the Most High and him that serveth him not. Right? None shall want her mate, for my mouth it hath commanded, and his, and his spirit it hath gathered them. Right? Study to show thyself approved unto the Most High, a workman that needeth not be ashamed, rightly dividing the words of truth. Okay? Right, And you have individuals that do this, who concerning the truth have erred, saying that the resurrection is already past, and overthrow the faith of some. See? And you have that now, today. And these words were written thousands of years ago. What the fuck? Okay? The Bible is a true book, man. It is a book filled with prophecy. And the word prophecy means to say before it happens. That's all it means, by definition. You can Google definition, matter of fact, for individuals that ain't got a clue. Okay, let's put. Okay, let's go to. Um, okay, let's go to Jeremiah. Chapter 23. So lucky. Let's go to Jeremiah. Chapter 23. Let's say, what was it? 23, verse 26. Okay, let's find out. Let's see what's going on. That prophesy. Right? Transliteration. Strong's H, 5012. Nava. Nava. Right. To prophesy under influence of divine spirit. Right. Here it is. A primitive root to prophesy, i.e. speak or sing by inspiration and prediction or simple discourse. Okay. Okay. Now let's go get the secular version of prophesy okay boom prophesy definition a specific thing to say it's a verb to say that a specified thing will happen in the future okay similar words predict foretell forecast foresee forewarn of prognosticate Divine, augur, presage, provise, foreshow, croak, spay. What is that? That, vaticinate, auspicate, <laughs> whatever. Okay? But my point being was that a specifying thing will happen in the future. Right? So that's what we're trying to do. And the apostles and elders and the great millstone have told us how to how to do this thing. 
Right. And that's what's happening, man. You created everything that you see. The Heavenly Father, Yahweh. The Source. The Ancient of Days. The being that existed before time. He brought forth his only begotten son, Yahweh Shah. And Yahweh Shah brought us forth. Yahweh, which his name means he to be, he is, he exists. He brought forth his son, his only begotten son, Yahweh Shah, into existence. And Yahweh Shah brought forth us into existence. The other spirits, beginning with the elect, the elect were the first spirits that Yahweh Shah created. And they also aided him and assisted him in creating everything that you see, in creating the universe, in creating these other planets, creating these other galaxies, creating nebulas, creating everything, and in particular, creating the planet Earth. St. John chapter 15, verse 27, and ye also shall bear witness, because ye have been with me from the beginning. So, these very same spirits that assisted Yahweh Shah in creating the universe, these very same men are in the truth today, beginning with the apostles. And the key thing is they assisted him in making everything. So it's only right that they are co-heirs. They join him in his inheritance because they aided him in creating it. They assisted him in making it. These are the powers. Ephesians chapter 1 Verse 3, blessed be the power and father of our Lord, Yahweh Shah HaMashiach, who have blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places, in a Mashiach, right? Because you're blessed from the spirit world, ultimately, because you were there first. You were with him from the beginning, according as he have chosen us in him before the foundation of the world, that we shall be holy and without blame before him in love. Having predestinated us unto the adoption of sons by Hamashiach, by Yahweh Shah Hamashiach to himself, according to the good pleasure of his will. And that's the key thing. This is all about predestination. The elect, they are written in the book of life. So, it's their lot and their story to be saved. They were chosen for salvation. 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 13. But we are bound to give thanks always to the most high for you, brethren, beloved of the Lord, the house of David, because the most high have from the beginning chosen you to salvation through sanctification of the spirit and belief of the truth. Because you were chosen to believe. You can't make yourself believe. Faith is a gift given to the elect. These men, these spirits that are from the beginning. Okay, they were with Yahweh Shai in the beginning, in the chariots, creating the universe, telepathically, bringing forth everything into existence just by their minds, all according to the blueprint of Yahweh Shai. 1 John chapter 2, verse 13. I write unto you, fathers, because ye have known him that is from the beginning. Because we have been with him from the beginning, if we are the elect, if we endure to the end. And it's already written. I write unto you, young men, because ye have overcome the wicked one. Because it's written that you're going to overcome. I write unto you, little children, little sons, because ye have known the Father. That's the point. And the elect, they are the first fruits. Revelation 14 and 1. And I looked, and lo, a lamb stood on the Mount Zion, and with him 140 and 4,000, having his father's name and his name written in their foreheads. Verse 4. These are they which were not defiled with women, for they are virgins, meaning they are pure in the doctrine. They are not defiled with philosophies. These are they which follow the lamb with whoever he goeth. They believe in the book. These were redeemed from among men, being the first fruits unto the most high and to the lamb. So the elect, they are superior in excellence to others of the same class. Why? Because they are the elect. Shalom. To 
us there is but one God, the Father, of whom are all things, and we in him, and one Lord, and outside, by whom are all things, and we by him. Isaiah 41 and 4, it reads, Who hath wrought and done it, calling the generations from the beginning? I, the Lord, the first, and with the last, I am he. And read that again, it says, Who called the generations from the first? Who hath wrought and done it? Calling the generations from the beginning. Yeah, the generations I was called from the beginning is the elect. The elect of Israel has been predestinated, preordained to receive this truth. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus, who hath blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Yahushak, according as he hath chosen us in him before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and without blame before him.